What up home slices, what up home fries, and what up homes of other varieties. In today's video, I get to play Psychic Realtor, where I go through Zillow listings and tell you whether or not they're haunted or if there's anything else going on. So we're just going to go through six or seven listings that I found on Zillow, and uh, they're kind of interesting, not gonna lie. But I feel like I wanted to change this up a little bit to be a little bit less serious. I don't know, I haven't seen anyone do this yet. So hopefully uh, I am the original idea holder, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, here we go. First house. The most haunting thing about this Victorian house is the fact that it's this weird pink. I don't know. I don't like it, but that's just my opinion. Someone might love it. Someone could turn this into a Barbie dream house, but it ain't for me. However, I will say that the inside is stunning. Stunning. But so the question is, because this is what you're here for, is this house haunted? Well, here's the thing. So, the first psychic impression that I got here was that the past owners held many, like, get-togethers or dinner parties or whatever you want to call them. This house has seen its fair share of events, is all I'm really trying to say here. Um... I feel like this house, though, is in close proximity to either a graveyard or a cemetery. But who knows? I could be wrong with that. But there's definitely paranormal activity here. And I'm gonna... F I don't know. From sounds of, like, footsteps, creaking, heaviness, cold spots, perhaps things falling over... I don't know how many owners this house has seen, and I don't know if they've been in the house long enough to notice these things, but there's definitely things going on. It doesn't feel evil, so that's a plus, but there's definitely one main earthy there. It's giving male vibes, and he's very dense and heavy feeling. The air is also thick. But I wouldn't be surprised if anybody's seen any kind of, like, shadow figures or apparitions in this space. And with the heaviness, I feel like if you stay in this house long enough, you're going to notice headaches and you're just going to get quite a few headaches. And maybe even sleepy. Personally, though, not gonna lie, if I had the money, I would buy this house. It could just be because of the Victorian style that I really like in the wood. But to be fair, the paranormal activity ain't that bad and it can be easily fixed. So if you're somebody house shopping and you want a haunted house, that one, I 10 out of 10 would by. Or if you're somebody that doesn't want anything to do with paranormal or ghosts, again, easily can be cleansed. Not much of a problem. But personally, I'd probably repaint some of the areas. Maybe completely redo the kitchen. Keep some of the original stuff of the kitchen. But like get rid of those cabinets and maybe redo those. Um, bathroom, need to redo that. Oh, and the backyard? Okay, the backyard is freaking lit. I always wanted a backyard like this with like that, I don't know what you call it. It's like that lattice -y, like structure-y pavilion thing. If it were me, I would put like some kind of roof over it but like keep the main thing, but make it so where water can't come through. So if it rains, you could still use that area without getting wet. Yo, I would meditate so hard in there. 
Oh my God, I want it. I want it for my backyard too. I love it. I love the backyard. I would, ooh, I would do so much with that backyard. But yeah, the residual energy in the earthy can absolutely be managed. Now, even though I was picking up one earthy, that doesn't mean there aren't more. He's just like the most prominent one there. But yeah, I would cross him over if possible. And if again, he doesn't want to cross over, he can go bye bye. But like, after a few large cleansings to completely remove like the earthy, if he doesn't want to go or cross over, and or the residual energy, 10 out of 10 would definitely want to live there. All right, now we got this small little family house in Buffalo, New York, built in 1930. So immediate, immediate impression. So it has to do with like World War II but like a small family living here. But I just get like this vibe of like this newer couple. They're married and it's like the husband is either getting drafted or he was drafted. And it's like, this is the house that they bought in that time period. But so the question is, is it haunted? So yeah, there is a decent amount of residual energy here, but it's not too bad. I don't know why, but this house makes me feel extremely sleepy, which is weird because the energy is not super thick. But there is still this sad undertone to it, kind of like depression seeped into the walls. I think the newer renovations and energy of the most recent owners have helped bring up or raise that vibration of the property. As for the spirits or entities, I'm not currently seeing any lingering. Here and there, um, earthies have passed through due to the area, but it doesn't feel haunted. Again, could be wrong, but that's like the initial vibe I get on this house. And not only that, uh, the person who recently lived there obviously like um, fire trucks. The guy probably works for the fire station and is probably a firefighter, so it makes sense if he's not a firefighter or doesn't come from a family of firefighters. Then my question is, why the fire trucks? But again, if he does work or is around that, it makes sense. <laughs> But it's interesting to see when people have hobbies and you go into these Zillow listings and you see their hobbies. I will say this, at least it's not taxidermy. <laughs> it's interesting, but it's giving like a man that's like 50 to 60 years old and he's retiring or he just retired and now they're going somewhere else. I feel like this person is pretty positive of a person. Overall, I think this property is cute, especially for a starter home for like a younger couple. Like, a, like with no kids. I mean, you could have kids, but like, I don't know. To me, the house is pretty small for a family. Unless, again, they're a, a new couple. I would say the home could benefit from a Palo Santo cleansing. Sage could be added into it, but it's not necessary. I don't feel like there's anything paranormally wrong. Residual energy is normal. No matter the location in which a person goes to, there's going to be residual energy. That is normal. And so only having that go on, that's awesome. But yeah, if you're someone looking for a spooky house, that's not one. The property's pretty nice. They did a good job with the upkeep. And uh, yeah. Okay, now we are in Harrisville, West Virginia. This house was built in 1885. If you like termites, then this is the house for you. Uh, it feels like this property was part of a farm or grew crops. 
kind of might be a no-brainer, but I don't know anything about any of these listings again. So yes, it feels like there was a smaller barn there on that property at some point that is no longer there. Unless it's still there, but it's just not in any of the pictures. Uh, this one, the land, more than the house, feels like it has more history. Um, too small for my liking, but it feels like some of the past owners spent the majority of their time outside and really only needed the house to sleep and eat and potty in, really because of the amount of time they spent outside, so it kind of really doesn't matter. The question is though, is it haunted? Okay, so first impressions, I was getting a male earthy from like 1890s to 1900s, but it's hard to tell, the energy's thick, but it's, it's very non-responsive and non-interactive. So I can't tell if it is an actual earthy or a fractal. I wouldn't be surprised though if it was a fractal due to the fact that this land has a lot of history and the land does feel like there's some unmarked graves here as well that might have even been there before the house. Again, Native American territory. A lot of the things going on here, though, is mostly residual. Um, I do see a small family with a kid working in the field. But I wasn't getting that much psychic impressions here. Personally, I would just knock everything down and build from scratch. It's, it smells musty and dank when I astral project there. And with the alleged termite damage, it might not even be worth it. Or not even the termite damage, but like the wood rot. I don't think I would salvage any of it. Maybe take a nice photograph and uh, frame it, put it on the wall of your new house. <laughs> Is that bad to say? But personally, I wouldn't keep anything there. Knock it all down. You got a nice amount of land. You can either start fresh with a new farm or start fresh with a nice big house. Or, nah, I shouldn't say the or thing because it might get me in trouble. Okay, so continuing. I love the land. I think my favorite part of this spot is the stream. There's good rocks and hidden crystals like agates, jasper, and quartz, but that's because I am a rock and crystal hoarder and junkie. So, next house. <laughs> All right, so now we have this house in Hampton Bays, New York. If you don't know where Hampton Bays is, it is on Long Island. Gotta say with the accent. But for people unfamiliar, if you've ever heard of uh, Amityville, it too is kind of in a similar location. I think it's about 40 miles away. I only know this because my aunt lives uh, 15 minutes-ish from Hampton Bays. So I'm pretty uh, knowledgeable-ish on the area. But here we have this house built in 1970. It's got that creepy brown siding. I don't know if it's shingles or wood, not quite sure, but it has like that brown creepy outside that looks similar, not the same, but similar to the Conjuring House. But I don't know what it is. If you've ever been to Long Island, New York, and Hampton Bays and East Quag and just Quag, and even parts of like, um, where is it, Rhode Island, the houses built in like 1970 around that time period all have like that brown outside look to it. <laughs> it kind of just adds to the creepiness and makes the house look older than it really is. I don't know. I don't hate it. 
I don't hate it. But, uh, yes. The interior is nice. I like the wooden floors. The kitchen looks to have had an update. Honestly, for the price of this house and where it's located, I'm actually surprised because those houses be ranging from like 600k to like millions of dollars due to the location. But uh, yeah, we got a Yankees fan. Um, respect. <laughs> Typical for New York. Though that is a large suspicious stain on the floor. Uh, but I will say it does look like it is from furniture, so yeah, I don't feel like a body was there, but, um, when you have furniture that sits in a, on wooden floor, especially, and it's been there for, I don't know, decades, that can happen, especially when it's humid and the house doesn't have he heating or cooling, especially air conditioning. I know a lot of houses out there, especially the older ones, don't have air conditioning. So I suspect that due to the lack of air conditioning, that house probably gets muggy. Or if it does have new air conditioning, because I honestly didn't look at the details to any of these houses. But if it's been sitting there and that family hasn't had air conditioning, what happens is the humidity, the heat, can warp the wood in the home and or discolor the wood and I suspect that's what happened there. Now a lot of the newer homes there and even everywhere have air conditioning so but yes not quite sure how to remove that stain you'd probably either have to buff it out sand it out and restain. I am not a carpenter or into any construction, so I have no idea. Um, they need to redo that bathroom. That sink is too small and is literally built for like a toddler. That's just my opinion. The question is though, is this house haunted? From what I was feeling, there is a male earthy chilling in the room with the red and yellow walls, which by the way, again, that's a choice. I get sometimes people get fancy in their home interior design and they like to have like an accent wall where one's a different color than the others. I get it. But in here it's giving uh, Gryffindor, it's giving House Lannister, and I honestly don't feel like that room is big enough. But who am I? I'm not an internal house designer, so. So, uh, yeah. But again, to the male earthy there, he's in that room with the red and yellow walls, dark hair, black work pants, 70s styled cream, dress shirt, with short sleeves and a breast pocket, wearing thick glasses. He's presenting as late 40s though. I don't think he died at that age. I think he died much later. He just prefers to look that way. Um, and like the, the neckline is giving like a V-neck with that weird flap thing that is asymmetrical from the other side. I don't know. Don't know if that will ever be validated, but it's fine. It's not giving evil. It's just, I don't know. It's just not evil. Let's just go there. There's residual energy as there is everywhere. I get a lot of beer drinking and a lot of watching baseball. He lacked his baseball. Again, you could just assume that from the Yankees memorabilia. So it doesn't have to be a psychic impression. But I see the person sitting there, drinking his beer, watching TV. He probably watched a lot of baseball. Um, should not be hard to cleanse that space. 
Just gotta cross over the earthy, and again, if he doesn't wanna go, you can kick him out. But honestly, I feel like he would cross over. I don't feel like he'd give much of a fight. And then do a nice, deep cleansing with Sage and Palasanto. I don't feel like you have to step up the cleansing game here. I think you can just keep it basic. <laughs> don't know if you heard that, but that's the perk of living right next to a busy street. I. Here we have a house in Sleepy Hollow, New York, built in 1875. Just the name of the town makes me want to live here. And it's giving Sleepy Hollow vibes, like the movie. Or there was even a TV show. But I would only want to live there because of the name of the town. But that's just me. Love an iceberg home with a cute backyard. This home feels like it belonged to an older couple or just an older person who is or was very cultured and liked to learn or study subjects like anthropology, art history, cultures, philosophy, etc. Maybe even spirituality. <gasps> it was the obsidian. That's weird. So my obsidian bead just broke off my ankle bracelet, which is suspicious, giving the timing. But yeah, it's giving uh, someone who likes to learn vibes. And oh, the land mm, has seen a lot. Is it haunted though? What do you think? Do you think it's haunted? The first thing I saw was two little girls with dark hair wearing white lace dresses and bows in their hair. It's giving like Holy Communion dress vibes with the white little shoes. Although in their case, their shoes are black. And at first I was like, are these earthies? No, it's an energetic imprint. Wouldn't be surprised if sounds are heard especially in the kitchen i feel like this house has more residual stuff going on with some earthy activity due to the land itself the land is what's haunted and that stuff passes through the house um again though with the energetic imprint that one is pretty thick i am getting native american vibes though like the area in which that place is used to be inhabited by natives and I feel like there's also older spirits from the 17 to 1800s that reside on that land including Native Americans, settlers, and potentially thought forms. I also feel like there are remains close by whether that's from a cemetery or a graveyard or just like unmarked graves but I feel like there are remains there. Energetically, it doesn't feel too heavy. Those with energy sensitivities may have slight issues, but proper routine cleansings will help keep things out, but may need slightly stronger techniques like the Coppel and frankincense. Would I live there? Personally, no due to the convenience, but in general, it would be fine. Honestly, it's no different than the house I'm living in currently, but it might be even slightly better than where I'm living. But I feel like there's a lot of historical significance here. I don't know anything about the town of Sleepy Hollow. I only know about the movies, and I don't even know if the movies were based off of this location, but I feel like there is some stuff going on with the land itself, more so than the house. But I feel like I would make sure that if someone does live here, that they have boundaries set up in this house. I don't know. I wouldn't put salt around it or anything because I don't like the use of salt because you can trap things in, especially when you have a lot of things passing through. I probably wouldn't do that. I do like the style of the house though, not gonna lie. But I don't know, I don't, I'm very clairsentient. I feel like that energy would 
bother me, but at the same time, I like the fact that there's a lot of nature around it, so... Still would like it better than where I'm living, though, so... If I'm being honest. Okay, so now we are entering South Boston, Virginia. This house was built in 1856. This is my favorite house on this list, hands down. Not even just the house, but the land it sits on. This house makes me extremely, extremely excited because there's a lot going on here. And the question is, is it haunted? Abso-fucking-lutely it's haunted. A thousand percent it's haunted. Not only is the house itself haunted, but so is the property and the land it sits on. First of all, I don't even know why this house isn't even registered as a historical landmark. Maybe it is, and I'm missing it, but it should be listed as a historical landmark. Holy macaroni. And the amount of marked and or unmarked graves, there's remains on this property and on the land around the property. I wouldn't be surprised though if they have like a little cemetery that the owners kind of made themselves. And this area has a multitude of spirits, not just human, but we have elementals. We have um, thought forms. There's some not so nice things here. Not so nice things here. I also get the impression that this place had either servants or slaves. Don't know if I'm allowed to say that on uh, YouTube, but uh, I don't know. It's checking all the boxes here of paranormal stuff. But yeah, there's definitely uh, natives, spirits there, family members, servants, slaves. They got everything. Um, there's a lot of the elementals in the woods, but even on the land. And the land is also giving, like, farm. They did something here. They cultivated something here. <sighs> Probably why they needed, uh, all the extra people. Um, I feel like paranormal investigators would have a field day. If I'm a paranormal investigator, and again, I had that money... I would snatch that place right up. If it were me, I would restore all the original stuff in that house. Yeah. Um, and I feel like if investigators were to go there, it might take a little bit for them to regain that energy because they're not super active, but they're there. They're there. The elementals on this property, most of the elementals there are not bad. They're pretty good. Most of them are nature ones, so that could be helpful. There is an astral spider, though, which is negative, and there is a negative non-human entity there with the undertones of murder and or violence, and it's giving time period of, like, 1860s, 1890s. I feel like there was a good amount of abuse on that land or property and it could contribute to the negative entity there. But if I'm somebody who wants to live there, I don't think you'll be able to cleanse that space properly because the vastness of the house and the property and the land it's on. I don't think you're gonna successfully cleanse that space. But honestly, I wouldn't do it in the first place. Um, so if you're like a homeowner looking to live there with your family and children and you're not a fan of the paranormal, don't know if I would live there. But if you are a fan of the paranormal and you got an extra amount of ka-ching, 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 bling, 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 I would snatch that house up in a heartbeat. But yeah, if I was rich enough, I would buy that place. Even with the entities there, I'd make it work. Maybe buy it as a second home and not live there, live there. But I would spend a lot of time there. I'm obsessed. This is like a dream house. Like, a dream house in terms of like a second house, not my main house. Because of the energy, I would probably get sick there. But, like, I would absolutely investigate and research there. Oh, my God. A researcher would have a field day. 
I want it. I want it. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta build up the business here. Gotta get, we gotta get subs. <laughs> Help me buy this house. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, this house looks freaking lit. Well, that concludes all the houses that I have chosen for you guys. But uh, what do you think about this uh, concept of a video? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Let me know down below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hope to see you guys soon. Peace out.